to 30,000 feet. Approaching Soviet airspace. 20 minutes to drop off. Commencing internal depressurization. Equipment check. Arm main parachute. All right. You ready to go? Drop zone still showing a high pressure mass. Cab okay. Good. We've got high visibility. Cigar. Connecting oxygen hose to interior connector. Put on your mask. Does this panty waste know what he's doing? Approaching release point. Ten minutes to drop off. Hey, are you deaf? He said, put out the cigar and put on your mask. Depressurization complete. Checking oxygen supply. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch. Celsius. Two minutes to drop off. Stand up. You'll be falling at 130 miles per hour. Try not to get frostbite from the wind chill. One minute to drop off. Move to the rear. Activate the alarm bottle. This is one for the history books. The world's first halo jump. Ten seconds to drop off. Stand by. Status okay, all green. Prepare for drop off. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Spread your wings and fly. God be with you. mission is to infiltrate Selino Yask in the Soviet mountains, ensure the safety of Sokolov and bring him back to the west. If we don't get Sokolov back before that weapon is complete, we'll be facing a major crisis. The clock is ticking. <laughs> Once we've confirmed the rescue of Sokolov, stand by at the recovery point. A recovery balloon will be dropped at that point. Helium will be pumped into the balloon to inflate it. The process takes about 20 minutes. Once it's complete, the gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. The Fulton surface-to-air recovery system. I'm familiar with the theory. Take it easy. It's been combat-proof. Do you think Sokolov is up to it? The shock will be less than during a parachute jump, and the arm can handle up to 500 pounds. So you're planning on going over the border in a single combat talent? She's equipped with two 6-barrel 20mm Vulcan cannons, as well as two 40mm machine guns. Sounds like she could hold her own against a battalion of tanks. Even with the fuel in the reserve tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours. 
home in time for dinner. But if anything goes wrong, you'll be eating dinner, breakfast, and all the rest of your meals in the jungle. Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory, and somebody might be listening in. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. You're not to mention your real name. What about you, Major? What should I call you? Hmm, let's see. I'll be... I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. Oh, and Snake? Yeah. The crew isn't watching anymore. You can take off the disguise now. Good idea. This isn't right. Time for the snake to shed his skin. Can you hear me, Major Tom? This is Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? This will be a sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox Unit's speciality. In other words, weapons and equipment are procure on site. I have to find my own weapons and equipment? Whose crazy idea was this, anyway? Solo covert action.